Hello, this is Alfred Cotto, and I will be introducing you to the seven chakras and how to release yourself from the blockage that your life has created between them to make your life better, happier, warmer. Let's begin. You must gain balance within yourself before you can bring balance to the world. And your first step is to close your eyes and to allow yourself to succumb to the chair that you're sitting on or the bed you're laying on. Feel your body depending on this chair or this bed. Allow yourself to experience your life in the moment right now. The seven chakras are like the water that flows through a creek. There are several pools where the water spirals before moving on. Chakras are pools of spiraling energy in our bodies. If nothing else is around, this creek will flow clear and easy. But life is messy and things tend to fall into the creek, blocking each and every smaller pool. But if you unlock each pool, the energy will flow swiftly. There are seven chakras that go up the body. Each pool of energy has a purpose and can be blocked by a specific negative force. Be warned, opening the chakras is an intense experience. And once you start this process, you cannot finish until all chakras are open. Are you ready? First, we will open the earth chakra, located at the base of the spine. It deals with survival and is blocked by fear. What are you most afraid of? Let your fears become clear to you. Take a moment to reflect. You are concerned for your survival, but you must surrender those fears. Let your fears flow down the creek. You have opened your earth chakra. Next is the water chakra. This chakra deals with pleasure and is blocked by guilt. Look at all the guilt that burdens you so much. What do you blame yourself for? Take a moment to reflect. Accept the reality that these things happened, but do not let them cloud and poison your energy. If you are to be a positive influence on the world, you need to forgive yourself. Third is the fire chakra, located in the stomach. This chakra deals with willpower and is blocked by shame. What are you ashamed of? What are your biggest disappointments within yourself? Take a moment to reflect.
you never find balance in your life if you don't face your shame. The fourth chakra is located in the heart. It deals with love and is blocked by grief. Lay all your grief out in front of you. Take a moment to reflect. You have indeed felt a great loss, but love is a form of energy and it swirls all around us. The, the people who have loved you in your life, who are no longer around, it is that love that is stored inside your heart and is reborn as new love for new people to enter your life. The energy never dies just because it was real to you, it is important and it matters. The fifth chakra is the sound chakra located in the throat. It deals with truth and is blocked by lies. The ones we tell ourselves. Take a moment to reflect. You cannot lie about your own nature. You must accept yourself for who you are. You have opened the chakra of truth. The sixth chakra is the light chakra located in the center of your forehead. It deals with insight and is blocked by illusion. The greatest illusion of this world is the illusion of separation. Things that you think are separate and different, but are actually one and the same. Each and every human, an animal, and piece of nature is all connected. Everything is connected. If you open your mind, you will see that everything is one. The final chakra is the crown chakra located at the top of your head. It deals with pure cosmic energy and is blocked by earthly attachment. Meditate on what attaches you to this world. Take a moment to reflect. Let all of your attachments go. Let it flow down the river, forgotten. Everyone you love, everything you hold dear, Realize that they are all just earthly attachments. You must learn to let go. Open all your chakras, surrender yourself. Now think of your attachment and let them go.
let the pure cosmic energy flow. Allow yourself to ascend into the cosmos. You are human, you are doing the best you can, you are in perfect health, you are safe, you are loved, you are wise. Remember the three spiritual laws, the law of attraction states that if you are positive, you will attract positivity. And if you are negative, you will attract negativity. Hence, it is best to be positive in order to live a most happy, fulfilling life. The law of allowance is to allow yourself to experience new experiences and to cast aside your fears and your anxiety and try new things and to think of new perspectives on everything. And the final law is the law of acceptance. It is to accept that no one is in your control but yourself. It is not good to have expectations on other people, to force other people to do your bidding, to manipulate people. It is better to have control over yourself and only yourself and to accept it for what it is accept people for who they are and if they are negative you are welcome at any time to dispose of them from your life your seven chakras are all open now the creek is flowing nice and gently, and you are at peace. For the remainder of this time, breathe in for four seconds, breathe out for four seconds, and keep doing so, and allow yourself to envision your life much greater.